Hi there, welcome to the Merch Wizard setup guide. Uh, we're on the Merch Wizard website here and it's got the links to all the places that you need to go to get set up on Merch Wizard. It's really easy and the first place we'll start will be Gumroad. So you need to have a subscription to the app on Gumroad and you do that by filling in your details, filling in some payment details, paying and subscribing. And we're going to then grab this license key and store that in a text file for uh, use later on when we plug it into Merch Wizard. And the next place we'll go to will be the Chrome Web Store. We're going to go and add the extension here. It shows you the different warnings on there, but there's nothing to worry about using Merch Wizard. Uh, we're going to add that, and that will add that extension to our Chrome extensions there. So the next thing we want to do is go to the Airtable template and get a copy of that for ourselves. So this is the uh, copy base button. We're just going to click that and we'll be prompted to sign up for Airtable. Uh, we're just going to zip through the details here and create an account and save the password. And yeah, you get prompted for a bit more information as to whether you're going to use this for work or personal. I don't think that really matters. I'm going to create a workspace called merch and there's our template and now we're going to want to go and get our account API key so I'm just going to click on account in that menu and then click on that API key there and copy that out into notepad for us to use later on. We can then rename our Airtable base and change the color of it if we want to. So the next thing we're going to want to do is to get the API key for that particular base do that by going onto the base and clicking on help then API documentation and we just want to grab that top part there from the URL that's got app at the start of it and paste that into our notepad file for use later on. So now that we've got our keys we can go to Merch Wizard and we can enter them in the options page so this will be what pops up at the start when you run the app for the first time. Just going to grab the Gumroad key here and paste that in. And then I'm going to grab the account key which begins with key, copy then paste that in and then after that we've got the base keys on here so we can give our base key a friendly name so I can call it Rick's products or I can type in whatever else I want here so I'm just going to type in Rick's test base and then I'm going to grab the base key for that I'm put that in there and hit add okay and then if I hit save it's going to validate the Gumroad subscription is a uh, active one and everything's working. We hit search and that looks good to me so that's all hooked up and ready to go. Now if you want to add in additional bases so let's say you've got up to your 1200 free tier limit and you want to go on to other bases or perhaps have a base per niche uh, you can add in additional bases in the screen here. So let's just say we want to split it by marketplace. I'm just going to put in some fake uh, app keys in here just to demonstrate it. So I'm going to then select the active base to be the UK base and if I hit save on that we get a drop down in the top right there which just shows you the active base that it's looking at. Obviously the UK and USA one won't work as uh, as the fake uh, keys at the moment so we just keep that on Rick's test base but you get the idea here. So we're uh, all set up and ready to go. Any questions just hit us up in the Facebook group. Alright, thanks very much. Bye.